Hey you one, this is Lonnie, and I'm back with another episode of My Hero Academia. But before I talk more about this impossible spoilers, here is an artist promotion right here. Please be sure to check out the artist's links in the description box where you find links to the artist as well as this reaction video. And before I do jump right in and talk about this episode, there is a couple things I need to go through here because first of all, I noticed that many of my videos, especially many of my Boku no Hero Academia videos, reactions on Google Drive are getting flagged for abuse, which kind of sucks. That means that no one can watch them and all that. And um, put me in quite a bind here because that means that I most likely can't upload reaction videos through Google Drive for a very long time. And the risk is that they can actually, if this continues, I get too many flagged abuse and things like that, that uh, I get uh, suspended or something like that from Google Drive and all that. So I will upload for a while at least until I find something else. I will try to use Dropbox. I'm not sure if it works, but I will try that out. If it works, please write it because I will make one uh, video well one link for dropbox as well and those videos as a flag i'm gonna go uh, over the later next days here now and uh, make them zip files and upload them re-upload them so for those that haven't watched them and watch them later on can watch it through the zip file and all that which it still sucks though because that means that you can't watch them free and now you need to download it and i think that is unnecessary but i don't really have any money <laughs> Ignore that, but I don't have much options at the moment because I have no idea where to start uploading so you can watch them without risking it getting flagged or uh, reported and removed or whatever. If you have any suggestion for that, please uh, write to me because honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit... I actually had a bit problem with my depression latest days and um, seeing that about 20 of my videos getting flagged like this, is it took, it took a bit on me actually because... I was only getting afraid that what should I do and all that, but uh, I calmed down a little bit. I'm trying to figure out, so I will up re upload these as zip files for those that have been flagged. And um, if more videos get flagged, I will continue doing that. So, yeah, but now scratch that now and to this episode of Bokunir Academy. And I must say that this was really, really interesting to see because you got to see so much about the other characters and how they work together. I mean, first of all, we started with Sue and uh, Tokoyomi, and they pointed out something that I didn't really think on much, but that is true when you think on it, that his weakness is close combat and, of course, light. Then again, it depends on... He gets more control when it's light, but his shadow is weaker. But it's night, he gets stronger, but he gets less control. So it's a double-edged sword that... And having his weakness with close combat. And Sue I really don't have any of these weaknesses. And she's she's a character that is well around adaptive, which is actually really makes sense and all that. Consider her quirk and how stable she actually is. I mean when I think on it, she haven't really been one of I like I mean when the villains attacked on under the test and all that you know you know USI, USJ how do you pronounce that and uh, she she was calm she never got panicked or something like that she and she from we have seen from the test and all that she's also very clever I mean maybe not the smartest out there in the class but definitely she is a very round character. She might not stick out being the strongest or the best, but she is a very awesome, active support in that sense. And I love that. I think that is super cool. Ah oh, man. And I, I mean, I, I already love Froppy, but this is just putting her even higher up in my regards. And then we had a little... We didn't get to see much of uh, Ida and Ojiro's battle, though it actually went very well there. And it was really awesome to see how they combine their powers for greatness. The Mr. Power Low. I wonder if it's that he have a quirk or it's his robot suit he's using. Because from my understanding, I mean, 
a quirk doesn't mean, I mean, they, if they have equipment to compensate for lack of quirks, I don't see that they must have a quirk. And it makes me young, though a bit curious on what his quirk is, because obviously he's using that robot to dig. So what is his own quirk? Probably something related to Earth, I guess. And then, of course, Ectoplasm. I forgot to talk about him. Uh, I must say that he is really, really... I think he's really cool, actually. And uh, seeing that, he, as someone you mentioned, I didn't notice it first, but he have peg legs, a.k.a. he don't have legs, but rather, uh, you know, stumpy sticks. And uh, able to fight, kicking around like that. And you never get to see his arms. Makes me wonder that either... He don't have any arms. I mean, it could be something that uh, he don't have arms because he'll miss his legs already. Well, parts of his legs. So, from my understanding, he lost him against the fight against villains. And that actually makes sense that he might have lost his arms. Or he have like some secret with his arms that, or maybe something. Or maybe he just playing on that, that. Okay, you see, I don't have any legs. I don't have any arms, and they think like, yeah, and then suddenly he can like smack, fight, kicking there in the face and something like that. Well, not kicking, punching them in the face readily, but, so that is something. And seeing how he can make that super big clone, that was like, because uh, that is actually true. I mean, it did, it, when it's a clone, you, you, you suspect it's pr it identical. That is what it usually means, clone. I mean, identical copies. But when you're thinking on it, it doesn't say that need to necessarily be as big as him. It looks the same as him, but the size might be different. Imagine if he used created clones so big. Third of these guys so huge. Holy shit, no, but that, that would be kind of crazy. And then, of course, we have the third and last battle, which was with Momo and Todoroki versus Aizawa, aka Eraserhead. And... That was actually, as I mentioned in the video, I thought it was really interesting because we got to see the real big chunk of character development for Momo. That, I mean, in the beginning, I gotta say, she was like one of these little... Uh, I'm gonna say right away that I'm not very fond of her outfit. I, fe I think it, it feels a bit too flashy, you know? It's about showing sex appeal and all that. Apparently, that we don't. And, of course, she have need need to have a lot of skins to show so can she she produce for her body but um, it could be, be designed differently in my opinion but i mean she be she was this strong confident character in the beginning but as it had been progressing her confidence had been slowly declined and seeing how she got beat back i do know and that probably is that she haven't regained all of it it takes time to get it all back but this helped her a lot. And seeing how Aizawa, I mean, obviously he did it to... He, he, he got caught mainly because he wanted to help them. As uh, Recovery Girl said, that he is a, he is a big softie. He, he did it because he wanted... He, he is a teacher as well. And wanted. I, I'm pretty sure that he wants these two to succeed, definitely. And see Momo grow even better. And I thought it was really interesting battle in general to see. And then we had a little extra part in the end there that I've almost missed. That uh, with 13 versus Aizawa and uh, Ochako, oh my god. Uraraka, now I'm starting to forget names here. We didn't get so much out of the battle, but honestly, 13. I mean, as someone mentioned quite when we saw 13 for the first time, was that his quirk is pretty weak. I mean, it's pretty useless actually. I mean, it's in in a sense, you know, if you have watched or read Inuyasha, now I don't remember his name, but the monk, he has a hole in his hand and he literally can suck up anything. So it's pretty much the same as 13's quirk. The thing is that since he is, uh, 13 is such that, no, I don't uh, want to hurt, I only want to save. He obviously put his limits on, but if he was a villain... He, uh, uh, he, he would disintegrate them. Because I'm pretty sure if he sucks someone up with that, you're done. And I don't know if it's the only limit. Maybe he can actually... Well, he could open more fingers if I don't remember wrongly. Did I? 
I don't remember. Honestly, I need to check that out. But generally, the strength, you know, we're talking black hole. A black hole, I mean, even if, I mean, from what I have understand, I'm not an expert in things like this, definitely not, but I do love to read, and I did read a little bit about black holes, that pretty much if we create a black hole on Earth, it doesn't matter how small it is, it can be this little tiny, it would probably destroy Earth, because it's such a mad, or rather, if I might, if I don't understand it wrong, it's pretty much a negative mass. Well, everything have a mass. Black holes are the opposite. They don't have a mass. And th that is why they can even suck in light. I mean, black holes technically are not black, actually. They are... You can't see them. So the term is... I, I think it's mainly because it's in space and all that. And black holes sounds a bit scarier. But... Seeing that, and if uh, and I guess we should be happy that Thirteen is not a villain, because he he could he he could do so much damage with that quirk. Seriously, that would be crazy. By no means, as I said, I'm not an expert on black holes and, and uh, astronomy and space and all that, but and, uh, 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 sp space quantum and all that, but black holes. I mean, it's like literally the Pokemon of what was her name? Galade, no. Gardevoir. Gardevoir, there we go. Galade is the male version. Uh, she has the a power that, in, it even says so in the Pokedex that we can create a black hole to protect this master. A freaking Pokemon that is not legendary that is able to create a black hole. You will destroy the but seriously, though, that is why I think 13 is an interesting character. Many can say that he's weak, he's weird, he's useless in that sense, but he's a character that know that he has such great power. He he could most likely probably destroy big chunks of this planet at least. And he don't use it for his own good, he uses it for others. And that is a very good definition of being a hero. In my opinion, at least. I just think 13 deserves a little bit more spotlight on him, so to speak. But, you know, I will be back with more Pokemon Hero Academy. And, of course, if you do have any analysis or any good tips on me, how I can do to avoid all of this uh, on Google Drive and things like that, I would be happy to hear them as well. So, but I will be back soon again with more Pokemon Hero Academy because we are ending at near, we're almost near at the end of Season 2. So, thank you everyone for watching. See you later on. And most of all, though, have a continued super great day. Thank you.